I ask that the quorum call be dispensed with. Without objection. Mr. President, my colleague from Arkansas and I would like 10 minutes maximum, I think, to uh, extend special birthday greetings to former Congressman John Paul Hammersmith. So with the President's approval, we'll just turn, turn it over to Senator Bozeman and let him lead off. Without objection. Well, thank you, Mr. President. It really is a pleasure to be with the senior senator from Arkansas discussing somebody that we both have a great deal of affection for, and that is the uh, former congressman of the 3rd District of Arkansas, a district that I used to represent. Uh, congressman Hammership, Hammerschmidt uh, represented the district for 26 years, and uh, he just recently celebrated his 90th birthday on May the 4th. John Paul led a dedicated life to public service. In fact, that is truly an understatement. Along with that, he served as a combat pilot during World War II and is part of the greatest generation. Once he returned home to Harrison, Arkansas, he ran the family lumber business while spearheading efforts to create a two-party political system in the state of Arkansas. John Paul helped mold the political landscape of Arkansas and he never lost sight of the reason that he was doing that, why he worked so hard to provide a, a two-party system, and that being the people of Arkansas. By the time he was elected to Congress in 1966 as the first member of his party to represent Arkansas in Congress since Reconstruction, John Paul had a reputation of working to help others. He did that for 26 years as a member of Congress. By the time he retired, he was the ranking member on the House Transportation and Infrastructure, Infrastructure Committee. He served in Congress with the same enthusiasm that propelled him uh, into office and was well respected by his colleagues on both sides of the aisle for his strong work ethic, approach to getting things done, and his responsiveness to constituent service. Eleven years ago, as a newly elected member of Congress, who also represented the, the district that uh, John Paul used to represent, he gave me advice that I continue to follow, uh, and that is that the key to good governing, the key to good public service, is that once elected, there aren't any more Republicans, there aren't any more Democrats, there's just the people of Arkansas, the people of America, and that we need to take care of them. His words ring true today as they did 11 years ago. His efforts to work with his colleagues in both political parties benefit Arkansas and America and showed what it is truly means to be bipartisan. Despite being the House, in the House minority, he was able to achieve much success in Congress because he recognized that the key to good governing and good public service is that you treat everyone fairly and set aside uh, political differences. This ideology allowed him to be influential in a variety of different areas. He is accredited with securing improvements for roads and infrastructure projects, including Interstate 540, the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport, protecting the Buffalo, Buffalo River under the designation as a national river, and setting the example of exemplary constituent service that we strive to continue to die. He is showing no signs of letting uh, his age slow him down by any means. He continues his service on numerous boards and for organizations with the same vigor he demonstrated throughout his career. John Paul played an important role in our state's history, and he still continued to play an important role in our state's history, and, and also played an important influence on me as he did so many others uh, in Arkansas. I consider him a friend and a mentor. I finally recall the first time that, uh, that I was in, in Washington being sworn in in 2001. He took my brother and I to the members' dining room, and uh, again, it was just a very, very important time. And, just his hospitality to all of us throughout the years it was so gracious. I appreciate, appreciate very much his advice and friendship. And John Paul is able to leave his fingerprints on projects important to Arkansas through his hard work, dedication, and commitment. He never forgot about the people he was sent to Washington to represent. And we are truly grateful for his tireless efforts to represent the people of Arkansas. Congressman, uh, I'm sorry, Senator Pryor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, John Paul Hammersmith is 90. Uh, there are many colleagues here in this uh, chamber that serve in this body today who worked alongside him either during their service in the House or just when they were in the Senate, worked 
uh, with him on the many things that uh, Congressman Hammersmith did over the years. He really is one of the Arkansas greats. Uh, he served Northwest Arkansas, which is the uh, third congressional district, for 26 years in the Congress. Uh, looking back at his career, he once said, quote, the only reason people should be in public service is to purely serve other people, end quote. Indeed, he set the bar for constituent service from delivering a Social Security check to a senior bogged down in bureaucracy or fighting for disability benefits for a veteran. Today, each of us in the Arkansas Cong congressional delegation tries to emulate his legendary casework management. One of John Paul's most significant contributions was the preservation of the Buffalo River as a free-flowing stream. According to the Pryor Center for Arkansas Oral and Visual History, John Paul first floated the buffalo at age 12 after taking wood from his father's lumber yard to build himself a boat. Nearly 40 years later, he established the buffalo as the first national river. This was not an easy achievement, but one that was built with persistence and through relationships within the community. Today, tens of thousands of Arkansas families, but also American families, including my own just a couple of months ago, enjoy floating the Buffalo National River. John Paul also used his time in Congress to help Northwest Arkansas expand its infrastructure to keep up with the region's fast growth. For those of my colleagues who don't know, that's one of the fastest growing sections of the entire country. As a member of the Public Works Committee, John Paul was credited with securing bipartisan support on key infrastructure legislation. We could use a little bit of that magic today, by the way. Uh, you can't go far in Northwest Arkansas without seeing his impact. We have the John Paul Hammerschmidt Highway, an access road to Carter Field near Rogers, an industrial park at Diamond City, the John Paul Hammerschmidt Plaza, the John Paul Hammerschmidt Business and Conference Center at North Arkansas Community College, the John Paul Hammerschmidt Lake at Fort Smith, and the John Paul Hammerschmidt Federal Building in Fayetteville. Upon John Paul's retirement, former Congressman, Commerce and Transportation Secretary Norman Mineta spoke on the floor of the House of Representatives saying, quote, there is no individual in the House who is more loved and respected than John Paul Hammerschmidt. His honesty, gentleness, decency, and integrity are second to none. Don't be swayed by his quiet manner because underneath is a man with strong convictions, a sense of purpose, and a keen desire to get things done, end quote. It is fair to say that John Paul never actually retired. He remains involved in many civic organizations, including Northwest Arkansas Council and March of Dimes. Higher education continues to be one of his priorities. He serves on not one, but two boards of trustees, one at the University of the Ozarks and the other at Arkansas State University. John Paul Hammerschmidt has spent decades serving others and giving back to his community. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to pay tribute to all he has achieved uh, so far and wish him a happy 90th birthday and many more years of health and happiness. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.